Coach, what did it say about your team to be able to pull out a win in this way and it be your first one of the season? Yeah, I mean, it just uh, feels great to get a win, obviously, after the first two uh, at home. And uh, I think what I'm probably most proud about is the way we finished regulation, 13-3 to run, uh, which shows that guys just never quit. You know, they kept on fighting. Uh, they kept on competing. They kept on believing in themselves and their teammates. So to close 13-3 to to force the overtime, then I felt in overtime we got off to a great start. But our defense in the overtime was really good. Obviously, a ton of things that we can clean up from this game. Pain points, second chance points, transition points. You look at those numbers, and they're not where they need to be. But most importantly, to your point, Katie, first win of the year. Uh, Nicole was great. Uh, Jamal Murray, uh, incredible game. And I thought Aaron Gordon was just, I mean, 16, 11, and 8. Uh, did a lot for us. Uh, Michael CB. And I thought, you know, Russell and uh, Julian off the bench, you know, and Peyton, they had some really good stretches. So, uh, yeah, we'll celebrate for around five minutes, then uh, we'll get ready for Brooklyn. Take us through the last play call of regulation there, down two at the end. Yeah, just uh, the same play we ran before it. You know, obviously, uh, they had missed a free throw, so now it's a one possession game. And we know that we have the best post up player in the world. Let's play through him, let him make the right read. And obviously, him and, uh, him and Jamal kind of playing off of each other. And obviously, Jamal makes a hell of a finish with the reverse layup. But um, yeah, I thought a late game execution was was where it needed to be. And um, you know, we got enough stops down the stretch in overtime to allow us to uh, to get our first win. I want to get two on the previous possession mm -hmm. down three. Yeah, there's so much time on the clock. You know, I, I didn't feel we needed to rush. You know, with, with 20 plus seconds on the clock, uh, and you have Nikola Jokic. You know, let, let's play the. Uh, much Because if you go for the three and you miss, now you got a foul. Now the game maybe starts to get away from you a little bit. Down three with a lot of time. Let's get a quick two. And we did that. And then we can steal. And now you're playing the steal game, steal foul game. And they missed another free throw. So it's still a one possession game, two points. And, uh, you know, everything worked out in our favor. That tying play, uh, you know, the entry pass wasn't the clean as Nicola gets pushed out closer to the three-point line. Do you get nervous at all in those moments, or is it like it's Nicola and Jamal, they'll figure it out? Well, no, I, I couldn't agree more. You know, uh, when I, I we executed it so cleanly the time before, we went back to something very similar, and then as I'm watching the post entry and I'm seeing Nicola have to chase, run to the corner to get it, obviously, yes, I did get a little bit nervous. But once he regained possession, then I knew something good was going to happen because, obviously, I've seen Jamal and Nicola uh, just play off of each other. Uh, so well in so many close games, and tonight was no different. Congrats on the, on the victory. You got a couple of days in Minnesota. They were kind of a tough opponent this this spring. How are preparations for that? And also next week, you got Raptors again, I think. Does this matchup help to prepare for next week to do something maybe different? Well, so you're just completely ignoring Brooklyn tomorrow night. I like that. You went right to Minnesota. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get on a plane right now, fly to New York, got to clear customs. Could be a long night. We had a lot of players play heavy minutes tonight. Uh, this felt like a playoff game in game three of the season, but that's what happens when you start off 0-2. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're worried about Brooklyn right now. Uh, obviously, they won their first game at home. Uh, Jordy will have that team prepared for us tomorrow night, and we're going to have to find a way to dig deep and get some guys coming off of our bench to help us out. And then we get through that game. We'll head to Minnesota. We know that they're a very talented team, and uh, we'll worry about them after tomorrow night. This one game tomorrow is earlier too, so you get less time to be, to rest, kind of. Yeah, I mean this is obviously um, uh, we have a back to back tonight and tomorrow, and then we go Friday, Saturday, another back to back at Minnesota and Utah at home. Uh, you know those are the rigors and demands of the NBA season, and uh, you know we'll we'll uh, we'll find a way to get through those and try to you know figure out the best way to give ourselves a chance to win. Playoff game aspect of this, with you going to Aaron Gordon at the back at five there in the second half. Was that just kind of a desperation to get a win at this point early in the season, the way it started? And then what do you kind of tell Dario with the way that he's struggled a little bit early on? You no, know, Dario's just got to keep playing, you know, and, and, and fight through it. You know, he had some good chances tonight that just didn't go down. Uh, we found him in the pocket. But, no, I wanted to match uh, Aaron's minutes with, uh, with Scotty Barnes. You know, Scotty Barnes is a handful. Dynamic, versatile, athletic, handles it, shoots it. Sets pick and rolls, plays in pick and rolls. So it's more about not being desperate. It's just more about the you know giving ourselves the best chance with that matchup. Coach, how do you regroup your players when an altercation like what happened between Westbrook and 
uh, Barnes happened a while ago because it can make or break a game. Like the momentum can swing to their fav favor, especially it's their home court. Yeah, well, it didn't tonight. It, it went in our favor. You know, I, I love it. I, I like having a hit first mentality within the letter of the law. I don't believe in dirty play, anybody trying to hurt anybody, which our guys weren't trying to do. You know, uh, this is an emotional game. They're trying to protect their home court. And on the other hand, we're trying to get our first win of the season. And uh, emotions are going to run high at times. But uh, I love it. I, mean, I, I think those kind of situations get your group going. It kind of galvanizes a group. And uh, I think that was, uh, you saw that tonight, what it did for us. Helped us get the win, in my opinion. Uh, will anyone be limited tomorrow in Brooklyn just with the sort of heavy usage tonight? As of right now, no. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.